fucking hell forgot what it is. Yeah! <laughs> 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 do uh, a minute silence <laughs> in the memory of my material. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so first I just want to ask how this, how you come to be involved in this night, both of you. Um, well, I was homeless myself, and uh, when Coffee for Craig were doing a uh, sleep out earlier in the year, uh, myself and some other comics came down and actually did some entertainment to the volunteers that were actually sleeping out that night. Um, and then since then I've stayed in touch with the, with the charity um, and agreed to organise the fundraiser for Christmas. Um, I was a last minute well, sort of standing for a, a comic that couldn't uh, do the MC in tonight. Yeah. But that's not to say that the whole event hasn't been something close to my heart. Um, I'm really passionate about making this less of a problem in Manchester and more nationally as well. So it's been wonderful to be part of and thank you Howard for letting me really. to host events like this and raise the money especially in this period uh, just to get it out there and vital it exposure. vital really yeah there's been a lot of over the years with the, the justification for austerity there's been a lot of demonizing of, of the poor and the vulnerable so homeless people are uh, an easy target market to pick on because they don't have a voice and they aren't defended um, the problem is not getting better you know we've developed and we're supposed to be an advancing nation and we're, we're not we've got some of the worst homelessness rates in Europe and, it, and it's not subsiding so it, it comes down to needing to pe make people aware as well as as raising money and if you can do that by having a bit of a laugh and entertaining people then then why not so I, I think it's important to do that yeah I think it's really important to make people feel who are homeless like they are thought of and considered and a part of someone's life, you know, in, in any which way you're thinking about it and you want to make a difference and I think that's what we've done tonight. Colin touched on it a little bit how the government don't really tend to factor this in as a, as a critical issue and it's exactly what it is and being part of this means that we're showing people that we care and I think that's a huge part of it for homeless people is letting them know that they're not forgotten. <laughs> You know, organisations like that are, do you feel as though they are vitally important, like what they are trying to do? Yeah, because they were uh, working directly with people when they're actually in need. It's all right being a, a sort of charity that, you know, sits in the distance and tries to influence policy, this that, and the other. But when you're cold, you're hungry, and at your lowest, what you need is, you know, a warm meal, a warm place to go, and somebody that actually knows your name and knows that you're human. When I was homeless, one of the worst things was just to feel completely invisible. It was completely humiliating and even like avoiding friends because it felt like they're going to think I want to live there or I want something or this, that and the other. So you naturally become a burden and actually start to gravitate away from people and not towards. Mm -hmm. So having a, a charity like Coffee for Craig that actually opens the door and goes, tell us your problems, tell us why you are where you are, you know, it may never stop that person being homeless, but if that person knows at least there is somebody fighting for them, then, you know, it's, it's all the better thing. I think nights like this are important to uh, succeeding in your overall aim within Coffee for Craig. Yeah, any kind of fundraising activities we try to do, we want to be just kind of a really fun night, but we also try and raise awareness about the homelessness issue. Um, and the events we've been running recently are all around our kind of winter appeal. Um, obviously it gets really cold um, yeah. and we get really busy. Um, so the kind of run up to Christmas, uh, we get a lot of um, a lot more sort of donations, a lot more people wanting to volunteer, which is great, but it kind of takes more management as well. So it's a really busy time of year. Have you spoken to Lindsay, who runs the Stand Up to Homeless project, and how did that come about? 
Yeah, so Lindsay's running an initiative um, kind of a bit bigger than what we're trying to do, um, but we're hoping that's going to be a kind of nationwide thing, and I think they're going to try and do it every year. Um, so we were already looking to do some fundraising activities around the new project in Salford, um, and it just timed out really great that they were doing the kind of comedy initiative, and we've worked with Howard before, so it all kind of fit into place and we were able to put on tonight, and we hope that um, in the future we can kind of plan to do bigger events together.